today we're going to show you how to form up a door or a window. So here we've got a window that's already been done. And over here we have a doorway. The only difference being one starts at ground level, the other one starts at whatever height you want your window sill. Um, I'm going to show you the three pieces that we use on each side. So we've got what we've designed up what we call a base plate. We use an upright. Obviously the length will be the height of your window. And then we use a cross piece. So these go together like that. And then this one will go over there like that. Obviously you have the same on the other side. And you, if you need acro props, you put acro props in with some wood. If you come over here, you'll see one that's already been rammed. So this is a window sill. We've put a flat piece of 3mm galve on here. Then we put some form wood underneath and your acro props. We have form wood here and here's your upright. Hey, sorry, your top piece, here's your upright, and your base plate fits in here. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. I'll show you how to set one up over here. So you always start with a base plate in the wall. So you set it up exactly where you want the side of your door. Now, the other one needs to go exactly the width of your window away. So with this one, it should be 1810, which is exactly right. Now, we put an upright in. So this is gonna be a doorway, so it's 2100 high. Fit this down into the wall. With these, we have bent these in. The ends go in so the upright can fit over the top nice and neatly. We'll show you that when we get to that bit. Sure this lift is nice and flat exactly on there if it's not we just tap it in now we use a level to make sure we're upright on both planes just get the level one there and we'll put this one on this place. Now we're pretty square this way. Not quite square this way, so we just gotta make sure we stay level at the bottom. Okay, now just have a look at those. Are they both good? Now if that stays there on its own, we can tighten our pins up. stay in place and then we put tech screws through through the form every 150 right to the bottom on both sides and that will hold it square 
Okay, so we've put one upright in, we've tech screwed that in, it's all nice and level. We've measured our distance exactly across here. So we've got 18.10. Now, if you have a look here, sometimes you're going to end up with a gap. Either your wall isn't perfectly straight or the form's a little bit bent. If you've got a pin very close on either side, you can use a pin to pull it in, but often you don't have a pin. Your pin might be right here. You can't get it through. So this is what we do. We have an F-clamp, and we take that little bit off. So it's just left with that little bubble. And when we use our F-clamp, we put it over the back, and we put it into a piece of wood. Just like this. And as you tighten this, what will happen, if you have a look at the gap, the gap's getting smaller. But because we're doing it into wood, it's not slipping everywhere. If we had a pad on there, it would slip and it would be very difficult. So now we've got no gap, so we can put a tech screw through very easily. You're not going to snap your tech screw, you don't have to use a long tech screw. So you need to make sure it's level. We've still got our level sticking here. This is one of the best levels that we've ever used. We own about 30 different levels, and this is the main one we use from Ox. Get it from Bonzibuy if you're in Australia. Shameless plug for our little business, but um, they're a fantastic level. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep going. We'll tech screw this, and we'll see you when we're ready to do the top okay. one. Okay. We've done our two uprights. They're plumb both ways. They're tech screwed in. They're all nice and solid. They're actually bracing our forms now for the wall. Now we come to putting our, our top cross piece in. So we've set up three acro props. We've got them nearly at the right height. We've got a piece of form wood here. And we're simply going to rest our cross piece down over the top. We're going to put it down over there and level it up. Before I do that, I just want to show you inside here. Because we're straight onto the concrete pad, this is a doorway, so we don't have anything underneath, we put the acro prop straight on to the concrete floor. We haven't attached them, we've just simply laid them there. But our base piece, need, you need to make sure that our, the first acro is hard up against there, so this can't slide that way. The other, other way of doing that is to drill tech screws down into there, which will stop it moving. We haven't done that for this because we've got the acro nice and close. The other way of doing it is to put a piece of form wood on top of here and take it all the way across and then put your acro on, which will push down onto this, stopping it slide in and out. Um, we use wood across there when it's a window. And I'll take you over here, I'll show you what I mean. As you can see here, we would have had forms here, we've rammed up to here, put a second form on, we've rammed to here, we can't put an acro prop straight onto the mud because it would just slowly squish in. So what we do is we put a flat, flat plate, then we put our form wood on top, there was a piece in here, there was a piece in there, then our acros go on top to distribute the weight to try and keep this nice and flat. If you were going to ram to here and then call it a day, and then do your infill separately. You could probably get away without the, the metal. We would still recommend it. Keep it nice and flat, set up your acros, and then keep going. On the day that we did this, we did it all in one hit. We ran to here, we made it level, we troweled it, put this on, set it up, put these forms on, kept ramming, kept ramming the whole section done in one day. So come on over, I'll show you how to put the Cross beam in, it all goes to plan, probably better to have two people for this. Side. We are actually going to have to 
re-bend this one. It's not going to fit over these forms. Once we've got it in place like that, we make sure our acro props are hard up against the base plate, hard up against the base plate. We put a level up here and adjust our acro so they're just pushing on there, and then that's it. We can leave it like that. If you're going to leave it for a few days, we would put tech screws up into the wood just so the acro props can't fall out. Um, but as we're going to be ramming straight away, we won't be doing that. Um, Pretty much doesn't matter the size, it'll be the same process. It's a little doorway, you'll only have two acro props. Anything under 600, we would tech screw to the forms instead of using acro props. But that's it.